In this video, I'm going to discuss on the best treatment for coccidiosis in broilers. And mind you, coccidiosis is a reoccurring disease in broilers, most especially when you do not have good management. So I'm going to talk about the best drugs that you can use. I mean the synthetic drugs. And also in this video, I'm also going to talk about the use of natural remedies that you can use for prevention and there's a very important secret i will also share in the course of these natural remedies most times people will complain that they are using it but they are not seeing the effects that is not working but i'll give you the secret to why it is not working if you want to use the natural remedies and lastly i'm also going to give a very important practices that you can use during the treatment of coccidiosis so that it will not occur again in your farm all this and more you will get from this video so if this is your first time of coming across my video kindly click the subscribe button and turn on the bell icon so that you get notified anytime i upload a new video don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and share for others to benefit thanks the best treatment for coccidiosis in brellas is not just about getting any drugs and administering but it depends for you to get the sources it depends on the severity of the outbreak then it also depends on the age of the beds and whether you want to use the drugs or you want to use natural remedies and i will tell you the difference between the two as the video goes on but this is a practical guide so i expect you not to skip because every second of this video is very important now to the best of my knowledge and out of the drugs that I have used for treatment of coccidiosis, the most and very highly effective ones are the first one is amprolium. You see, amprolium have different percentage of they are different um, percentage of amprolium, but most times I use this amprolium 20%. It's very very effective for control of coccidiosis, especially when you've started when you started seeing brownish droppings is very very effective and this amprolium is um it normally at this 20 percent when you want to use it in water is 0.012 percent in water and this means that it's about 120 gram in 1000 liter of water this amprolium have um, a way that it is being administered and in most cases it is being administered straight for five to seven days continuously for five to seven days you administer it now when you are administering this amprolium 20 percent all you just have to do is to give them consistently you don't have to um, alternate then you skip and you give water then you continue again if you skip paraventure you skip you have to start all over again and uh, for those that have very small farm like a backyard poultry farm you just need one gram per liter of drinking water so if your beds are consuming and um, 20 liters of water that means you need um 20 grams per liter of water or otherwise 120 gram in 1000 liters of water and how this um amprilium 20 percent works is that it blocks the parasite's ability to absorb thymine because you know thymine is vitamin b and this enables the parasites to to multiply so it blocks them from absorbing that timing and is very safe for boilers and can be used as early as possible. There are some that you cannot use when the boilers are less than a week or a within one to two weeks. But amplium 20%, you can use it for, for chicks as well. Then the next one we are talking about, which is very also effective, is Toltrazuril. The Toltrazuril is um, it has a big cost of 2.5% and the dosage is one mil per liter of water just for two days i bet you if you use this is very very effective i've used it several times in fact this is the drugs i use mostly and it's occasionally when i see that yes i've used it for too long i have to alternate and use the another drugs which i will also talk about so it's just one mil per liter of water so if your bed is taking 20 liters of water you just give them um, 20 mil into the 20 liters of water why i love using this um, medication is that it kills all stages of coccidia and not just the early ones alone 
so it's very effective and it's also very effective if there is coccidiosis outbreak in your farm just try this tortrazuril and you will thank me later i believe you are getting um a very good information from this video please help me to grow my channel by clicking the subscribe button turn on the bell icon like comment and share for others to benefit i told you before now that there are some bonus tips that i will drop by the before the end of this video and as the video goes on and it's about these medications now the third one that i also love to use that is very effective for control of coccidiosis is um sulfur drugs you see the sulfur drugs we have the sulfur dimidine we have the sulfur um sulfur quinosaline and we have another sulfur those three sulfurs they make up triple sulfur there is a drugs i also i i normally use then triple sulfur trim those three drugs those three combination of of sulfur drugs is very very effective i will tell you how i use it that is very effective especially when there is bloody stool by the end of this video i'm also going to tell you a drug that is very very a combination of drugs that is very very effective once you see bloody stool there is a drug that you combine with this um sulfur drugs triple sulfur trim per se that is very very effective once you see um bloody stool once you use that drugs in less than 24 hours you will see changes i will sp i will tell you by the end of this video now talking about these sulfur drugs you just have to follow the label and it's mostly between 0 0.2 to 0 0.3 grams per liter of water for three to five days how you can administer it so that it will be very very effective you have to be very careful when you are using these sulfur drugs because it can stress the liver and kidney and you have to be very very careful because it's very very effective now let me give you a secret about this sulfur drugs how you can use it to be very effective but please if you know you haven't subscribed kindly subscribe thank you now if you are administering this sulfur drugs especially this sulfur um, triple sulfur trim uh -huh. if you are administering it you administer for two days then after administering for two days you give plain water for one day then you start again for another two days i believe you you got it very clear what i'm saying in essence is that you administer this triple sulfur trim for two days then the third day you will give plain water then the fourth day and the fifth day you administer these drugs again i bet you the bloody stool will stop but if the bloody stool persists like it still continues the, the beds are still excreting the bloody stool there is a drugs that i will give you at the end of this video that will stop the bloody stool immediately so just watch till the end so that you don't miss it now a very important thing i will also tell you for free is that always read the prescription before you administer Always, once you buy any drugs, make sure to read the prescription before you administer. Now, let me give a very important point here, which is about supportive therapy. Immediately after administering or when you want to administer, make sure that immediately after administering, make sure you give your beds multivitamins. Now, the NSS and make sure that the multivitamins that you are administering must contain vitamin A and vitamin K. The essence of, of, of this is that it helps to heal the intestinal lining and reduce the bleeding, most especially vitamin K. You should also give electrolytes plus glucose because this one will help the best to, 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 to rehydrate and reduce the stress that comes along with it. So, and alternatively, sometimes there are some um, anticocidia drugs that contains vitamin K. So make sure that that vitamin K is inside, if at all. And I will always advise you that if you want to give um, preventive medication, you can give any of those um, coccidiosis that contains vitamin as well. Now, let me talk about the natural remedies. And mind you, these natural remedies, like I said earlier, there are some persons that will say it's not working. I will tell you the reason why it's not working for you. Now, the first natural remedy for control of coccidiosis is bitter leaf water. This bitter leaf water 
is very very effective for prevention of coccidiosis on the farm all you just need to do is to get the fresh bitter leaf squeeze it and add a little water to it then you can give as drinking water for two to three days this um, procedure will help to reduce the parasite load naturally now the second point is use of aloe vera juice and garlic all you just need to do is to get the aloe vera juice and the garlic blend them together and mix with water at a ratio of one to five that is to say when your your blended aloe vera and garlic is one liter then you, your water should be five liters this act as a natural antiparasitic and immune booster now i will give you a secret about sometimes some pep, some persons will say this doesn't work for them but i would give you the secret why it's not working by the end of this video or generally why natural remedies are not working for you and your farm now a very important point which i want to tell you and which you must not fail to understand is that what you should do during the treatment period of coccidiosis now the first thing you have to do is to change the litter if you notice that they are very wet or they are heavily soiled once you notice that the litter is soaked like you stepped on them with your bare feet and the litter material gets stick to your bare foot then that litter is soiled or is soaked so you just have to change it now the second thing is that you should isolate severely sick beds if possible any bed that you notice that is sick just remove it as soon as possible and you should try as much as possible to clean the drinkers and the feeders daily now if you cannot clean your feeders daily make sure your drinkers are clean on a daily basis then the fourth one is that you should provide uninterrupted water access during the medication period make sure that the water you are providing is readily available all during the period of medication another important tip i really want to share with you is that what you should not do when administering or when treating coccidiosis please number one point is that do not stop treatment early even if the beds look better some farmers will say that because the bed have started um, responding to treatment they will stop the medication maybe the medication is expensive then they will not continue for the number of these this is a wrong approach because by the time the um, infection comes back again it will be stronger than the previous one then do not overdose your beds because some of these drugs are toxic in high amount and they might cause um, obstruction of the beds system then the third point is that do not mix different drugs unless directed by a vet some persons will buy this drug buy this drug without looking at the the drugs carefully if it's combinable for the poultry beds if this is not combinable for the poultry bed it might cause another serious um, illness to your bed so try as much as possible to consult your vet in order to know the drugs that you can combine take for instance let me just use this opportunity to give you a secret concerning a very um, effective drug that you can combine for control of coccidiosis especially when there is bloody stool this drug is called pantacos and triposophatrim these two drugs once they are combined together they are very effective for control of coccidiosis that most especially the bloody stool type once you administer this drug in less than 24 hours the bloody stool will stop immediately let me give you a, the second tip concerning the natural remedies which i stated earlier that you can use to control coccidiosis natural remedies are very effective when used as a preventive measures not for curative a lot of wheat farmers tend to use the natural remedy for curative this will not work as effective as the synthetic drugs once there is a disease outbreak use synthetic drugs but if you want to prevent disease outbreak use natural 
remedies. They are very effective because they, be, they boost the bird's immunity against the parasites that causes this disease. That is why a lot of people will say they apply um, so 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 um, organic um, component and it did not work. That is because the the disease has already entered the bird's system. So it is better to use natural remedy for prevention rather than for curative. Now, I believe you've gotten tangible information from this video. Please kindly help me to grow my channel by clicking the subscribe button, turn on the bell icon, give this video a like and share for others to benefit. Thanks.